All right, so we'll start the next function, and then that is the get texture, which I mentioned earlier. And it's going to be have a little bit more info than a regular getter function. Um, so basically, this get texture not only just gets the texture, but it also creates it at the same time. So you could call it like get set texture or whatever. You might call it. You might. You want. You could create two different tech, uh, two functions, two different functions for it. But I'm gonna do it in the same function. So create a for loop. Int i equals zero. I is less than max textures. Plus plus i. And then in here, uh, you will have a, a like a flag, I say, or or to check something first to say if it's in use or not. So m texture i dot if it's in use and no and if the texture is not no. And if it actually goes in here then you just put continue and if you don't know if you don't know what continue is it's basically it will go through here and then it will start back at the beginning and start the next it will increment the next number but if it doesn't go there then that means that there's no textures being used so at below it you set the m textures i that in use equals true M textures the file name or equal to the file name that up, that's up here. Um, and then you will create the 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 texture dx. Um, I think it's dx d. No, wait, hold on. I always get mixed up on one of these. I don't know why they're big, long phrases and stuff. Is D three D X create texture from file A, and you will pass in the device. You will pass in the texture name, file name, and you you get the um the reference of the M textures dot textures, and that will create the texture for you, and you return that return the M, you return the texture. Since this is a getter function, like I mentioned earlier, you just return the texture. Either if everything fails, I mean, if everything being used or it gets out of here and it doesn't get anything, they just return null. And that's it for that function. You know, it's not uh, not it's pretty explanatory. Um, let's say now we'll create the three different sprite functions, the draw sprite functions. So we'll say void dx manager draw sprite and we'll draw the ones that have all three of them the texture draw rec and position and it's just one line of code it's not that big m sprite and you call draw you'll pass in the texture the Reference um, the reference of draw rec, the center, which is probably the origin. I think I'm pretty sure he's talking about, but uh, and you set it to null, or you could probably put it in there. I'm pretty sure he's talking about the origin and passing the reference of the position. And then at the end, this is the color. The main is like uh, for X and A, the color that normally you will put is color that white which will put the 
original color that he has on the picture. Hold on. What the heck is this? Oh. It's slow. I'm using a lot of files right now. That's why. But anyways, uh, for this color that Y, you probably just put zero X and everything Fs. I think there's about. Eight Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what represents the color white. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Or this is for yeah, pretty sure yeah. All right, um, and that's it for this line. Then the next one will be the X Manager. Almost the same thing. Actually, just I should have just got in the. Let's copy it. That's what we all programmers should be doing. Um. In this one, you just you you're passing the texture. There's no draw rec, so you just pass in null. And everything else should be the same. Yep. And for the last one, which is should be about the same as same, but instead of not passing position. Yeah, I didn't really explain this one that much, but this is also like for the second for this. You, but it's also like um, it's just a static texture that's not going to be moving at all, like the background picture, like a big background picture. You know, that's not going to be moving unless you have parallax. Then you probably cannot do this one instead. This drop sprite, but it's not doing anything. Then it's just you can use this one, and everything else be no, except for the texture, and everything else stays the same. And that's it about, and that should be it about this. Um, the X manager if it compiles, or right, we got an error, and it should be D3 DX. Remember, you have to you have to write it right. Okay, real quick, hold on, guys. I'm getting link or error. Hold on, guys. Let me just figure out what I have to figure out here. Uh, Alright guys, I found the solution, and the reason is that you will have to include the pragma comment lib of, and you include the libraries of those, of the DirectX. I'm not sure what's the reason using this, I just recently looked it up and, and said it's not really good practice in using these. I'm going to keep looking into it and maybe figure out a better way to do it, but for now, for just now, just include it and I'll let you know, guys know once I find out a better solution for it. And this will stop the link errors. Don't know, like, don't know the real reason yet, but once I figure out, like, I'll let you guys know. But just for now, I'll just put it on there. And I'll keep, I'll research more into it. A better solution, what's the reason using these. And if you, any of you guys already know what this is doing, then let me know. It'll be easier. Alright, so basically we just finished off the DirectX Manager. So let's recap of what we did. In the constructor, we set everything to null. So basically the way it's supposed to be when you start off. In the destructor, you clean, you clean up the DirectX after you close the window or anything happens. Everything else should be released so that way it won't get leaked any memory leaked or anything like that and then inside the DirectX initialized DirectX we we created an object and if that return null then it just return false and if it if it works correctly then we start creating our presentation parameters I'm not really going to go into this but but if you really want to know then just google it Pretty sure it'll let you know. Pretty sure, but uh, certain has to do stuff with background or with the windows. But 
I highly, I don't guarantee you though. We just Google it. We'll let you know what that is, those are. And then after that, we will create. Um, we will start creating our device. And if, it, and for some reason, since some um, video cards, I guess, uh, it doesn't have the hardware vertex processing, so it won't. If you don't do anything to it, um, let me let me redo that. Let me say that again. And some video cards. It won't have hardware vertex processing, so it then so then it will start going. It will create an it will create another one that will do a software vertex processing instead, which mostly all video cards should have. I, I'm thinking, but if but if that fails, then you just return false. But if everything works out correctly, then you just return true at the outside. The clean out direct X is pretty explanatory. You guys know what all these is doing. And for site node, when I say M sprite here, I mean, some of you guys don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's just saying if it's not null. Same thing as saying if it does not if it doesn't equal null. It's the same thing as you saying that it's being used. So you could either write it both ways or not, it doesn't really matter. Inside here, the create sprite, we we just create our sprite, as simple as that. And if it fails, just return false. In the begin scene, the difference between the begin scene and the start scene, there are two two different things. Let me uh, explain why I did in two different functions. In here, it will create a device to clear out the back buffer, and if that fails, just return one, which meaning that it won't return anything. Um, and then if if it works out correctly, you just start the start the scene. And if all of this succeeds, then we start creating the, the we create uh, the sprite to begin and do the alpha blending. There's no reason to do this if this fails. So that's why I created two different functions. You will see it once I create in the main function why I'm using it two different functions for it. But the same thing as this, the same thing if any of you guys done X and A or stuff like that. You know when you create the sprite patch, sprite patch that begin it's almost the exact same thing as this is doing. And for the end scene, the same exact thing, sprite end. You end the scene and then for a pres presentation they just set everything to null. And the get texture is pretty explanatory. It gets the texture, sets it, and return it. And the three different draw sprites, we pretty explanatory. I already know. I already told you what that is. This returns basically like you want to have an animated character. Then do that. It will have a draw wreck and blah blah blah. Well, it doesn't really have to be animating, but but yeah. And the next one is basically you want to have a, like a static um static texture or a sprite. And you just want to have a, just a position on it. It will not do anything after that. Then you just do this. And for the last draw spray, it's basically just a background. It doesn't really have to have a position because it's just always going to be at zero zero. So yeah, basically that's it for the XX manager. And then we'll go to the main. Go to the, your main file. We'll actually go to. The, X and the uh, H first, and we'll include your DX manager. The H, and we'll have create an object for it. Well, since earlier, like I mentioned in, in the other tutorials. Um, I created an extra at the end. So if you did this, you gotta remember you have to call it the same exact way, or else it will not compile. So just to make sure you just do that. And we'll fix the the main function, the win win main. I put it at the end. I don't know if you guys want to have it at the end or not, but I'm used to having it at the end. 
and inside here where are you here we'll change this if statement a little bit so we'll have um, the initialize direct X we will pass in the HW and D that's the main reason why I changed it to this and remember have it set as to this it has it initialized and wait hold on real quick and he hasn't created a sprite then just return false or it's not HWD then just return false and then else then just start creating initialize or direct X with HWND create our sprite and that's it for right now basically here is um this is basically our initialize function where we initialize everything that's where where everything's gonna go in and we'll change our render function you will see which is why why I created two different functions for begin scene and start scene for in here create if statement saying if succeeded and as a direct x manager and put begin scene if it succeeded then we just start the scene which is why this is the reason why start the scene and then in, in here we'll create our draw draw information draw stuff whatever inside of here and then we'll end the scene yeah end scene and yeah that's basically what we're going to be doing here and that's all we have to do for our main function and it should work if I'm not mistaken unless I misspelled something yeah there you go so yeah there's that's the direct, direct X manager in the next tutorial what else can I do I'm gonna uh, start doing the the static sprite function and animated animated sprite functions I'll talk to more about that, what that's what those are. But then again, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Alright, see you guys.